um, Paul Calcod, proud Wiradjuri man, now living on Cubby Cubby Jinnabara country. Um, but I contracted polio back in 1960, so I grew up with a disability, and I think that's led me into the work in disabilities and supporting our mob. And um, one of the things I love to do is painting. Um, I work for the First People's Disability Network Australia Developing Resources. Um, so I get to paint and develop resources all the time, but sometimes it's great to have the opportunity to develop some stuff for um, local organisations and do something local and, and sort of try and sort of put back in the community a little bit and do it as sort of a bit of a, you know, matrix. <laughs> The painting, um, of course, you sent me through some stuff, David, about um, your mission statement and that as well. So basically, what the painting tells the story is the background reflects um, Queensland, you know, southeast Queensland here, but also like Central Park. So we've got the hinterland areas here representing the hinterland and the ranges and the rainforest that we have. Um, the sky is done in the red and white to represent some of the beautiful sunsets that we see at the night time and that as well, and the clouds. We have the ocean here representing the saltwater people coming up to the coastal area where you know, the beautiful beaches and the coastal area of Queensland and the red represents the red centre and the red earth that we all live and work on as well um, because that's what we're all about. All these particular circles here, the way they link, uh, represent all the many language groups and the different organisations, community groups in our country but we're all interlinked and intertwined even though we're very different, we're still there together. The centre one here represents a person with a disability. Now, we all know the U shape represents a person because that's the shape we leave in the sand after sitting down having a yarn. If you're a person with a disability like me, but a bum leg, you leave a different shape in the sand. So this just talks about a person who leaves a different mark on the world, travels a different path, not better, not worse, just different. And this shows um, Queensland Advocacy Incorporated um, is. Um, all of the diversity here with the different shades of people, the elders that you have, all around protecting and supporting a person with a disability. And down here, this is something I got out of your mission statement, and here's a person with a disability. And either side, you have a warrior, which represents you guys. One has a spear to be a defender, and one has a shield to show they're a protector. So these two people, they, they defend and protect and fight for the rights of a person with a disability. And this one here just shows, you know, sitting down at the table, here we have a person with disability with an advocate either side of them, at a table having a yarn and supporting them when they're having conversations where we've got sort of the non indigenous groups here so representing when they sit down with other organisations and services or individuals to make sure if they're at a yarn in circle that their voice is heard and they're properly represented and pretty much um, that's it, the story so it was a pleasure to do it and, um, and I hope you might be able to you know, use it in some of your promo and engage with the community in that and thank you very much, Uncle. It was a daily piece of artwork, and we're definitely going to find a good use for it. Yeah.